We're turning back to our COVID coverage now where California is dealing with a spike of cases. Yeah, as of Friday, the test positivity rate had spiked to almost 16%. The seven day average of cases is at 46 per 100,000 people. Now, this time last year, to put this in perspective, the case rate was twice that, 96 cases per 100,000 people. On Friday, there were more than 5,800 people in the hospital with COVID. And later today, we do expect to have an update on these numbers. Moving on to the vaccination progress in California, 71% of eligible Californians are fully vaccinated, accounting for 26.8 million. Another 3.1 million are partially vaccinated. 10 million have gotten their booster shot, and the state is giving out an average of 137,000 doses per day. And it is the first day back to school for many families across the country. But school districts are worried that students and teachers may be taking COVID back to the classroom after the holiday break. KCRA 3's Aixa Diaz is live now in our Washington Bureau. Aixa, good morning. What's being done to protect the kids from the Omicron variant? Good morning, Brandy and Ty. Well, the highly contagious variant is hitting the unvaccinated the hardest. So doctors are encouraging parents who still haven't gotten their kids five and up vaccinated to do so as they go back to school. Testing is another key component here. Tests are hard to come by right now. The Biden administration working on that to get kits out nationwide. Uh, some school districts, though, are delaying the start of this school year. Also, others are shifting back to online learning because so many staff members are out with COVID. The CDC has the test to stay policy, which is promoting regular testing among students and staff, also masking in schools, as well as vaccinations and boosters. Our expectation is for schools to be open full time for students for in-person learning. Our science is better. Uh, we have better tools. If you look at the safety of children with regard to infection, we have most of the teachers, overwhelming majority of them are vaccinated. We now can vaccinate children. And Dr. Fauci also says the CDC should be updating its guidance soon on asymptomatic people who test positive. Last week, they announced they're shortening that isolation period from from 10 days down to five. Now they could be adding a negative test component to all of this before you can leave quarantine. And Aisa, what are doctors saying about the timeline of the Omicron outbreak? Well, Dr. Fauci says he's hopeful that we could be a couple of weeks away from the peak of the Omicron break and that he predicts cases will come down sharply just as quickly as they rose. That's what South Africa has been seeing. But hospitalizations and deaths typically lag behind those case numbers. So we could be seeing those go up in the next few days. OK, thanks for the update. Aixa Diaz. In California, some school districts are still waiting for their shipment of at-home COVID tests that have been promised by the state. The Stockton superintendent sent a message to families saying they haven't received information about when they'll get the at-home test kits that have been promised. Now to the Bay Area, where the San Jose's Children's Discovery Museum and the Santa Clara County Public Health Department teamed up to host a children's vaccine clinic came with a special incentive too. Each family that had a child or adult get vaccinated at the clinic received a pass to the museum for up to eight guests. The passes are valid for the next six months and the clinic is part of a larger push right now to get kids vaccinated and tested as school starts up again. We know that it's very hard for kids to get the courage to take a shot. And we thought, well, why couldn't we do something wonderful and say, if you get your shot, you'll get to treat your whole family to a day at Children's Discovery Museum. The museum will have another vaccination clinic on January 23rd and then two more opportunities after that. We'll keep you posted on those dates. 